and welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuffs here. We do. This might not classify as beer stuff for a lot of people. We're doing it anyway. Yeah, got a little bit of jelly fingers up in this piece, courtesy. Yeah, heavy real brewing. Um, apple cinnamon jelly donut. Okay, heavy real brewing. Uh, let's see. Uh, sour ale with raspberry, apple, and cinnamon. Sun, 6% alcohol by volume comes courtesy of Heavy Real. They sent me off a box of beer. Actually, it's probably been about a month since I got this, and this wasn't in a mood, and today I'm like, I'd be in the mood. And actually, oddly enough, I've been seeing this on the shelves by me. So, it's still available, so if I dig it, you jump right back in that sucker. Um, <clears throat> let's see what we got going on here. Oh, baby. Oh. Now, here's the thing. I'm not the biggest pastry uh, fella in the world, but I really do dig Heavy Reels uh, pastry stuff. And the pastry that I did have, f I've had recently from them, have been right up my alley, where it's giving me a lot of that flavor without being, you know, too too dense, too, you know, just kind of like beer adjacent as opposed to being not beer at all. Label wise, all right, a little cartoony stuff. This is actually a collaboration with Donuts Plus, an actual donut place out, I assume, is either, you know, there on Seaside, out in the Tom Riverway, Ocean County, you would assume. Um, but, yeah, I'm down with that. I assume that, you know, that's their Skull Logo guy, and that's their logo guy. Hey, guy. How you doing? Um, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Looks like a um, strawberry quick kind of had on it. Rich kind of jammy. Hey. Jelly fingers, jammy kind of thing going on. Looks the part of a of a one of these sa sour. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Man, words are hard. Um, fruit sour, he thinks. Um, raspberry apple cinnamon. Obviously, this is very much kind of Thanksgiving going on. I'll tell you what. This shouldn't dictate how I like this beer, but my least favorite d dessert is apple pie. My least favorite fruit is raspberry. And I love cinnamon. <laughs> so I don't know what else to tell you. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Because I'm kind of weird like that. Like, I don't like cherries, but I love everything cherry flavored. But I love bananas, but I don't like them banana flavored. I'm kind of weird dude like that. So let's just dive in. Cheers, y'all. That's delicious. That is really, really good. Honestly. As a sweet and fruited sour. A sweet fruited sour ale. It is very, very delicious. I, da I do get raspberry vibes off of this. I get what seems like maybe it's just placebo effect or I'm putting it in my brain. The apple and cinnamon do come together in a kind of toasted kind of form where it's kind of apple pie, but I dig it in this format. It's just really well done. And honestly, it seems like a lot of these fruited sours from all these companies are just more like challenge beers in the sense that they're like people are just trying to make them as big and bold and as aggressive and as like crank everything to 11 on them for the sake of just cranking everything to 11. Where stuff like this seems like it's just, I want to make a really tasty beverage that instills thoughts of kind of pastry fruits and uh, pastry desserts, those kind of things. And that's where this one kind of fits along with the other ones I've had from Heavy Real. There's some people who do really, really well, but especially locally by me, there's a lot of people that just do this kind of just throw everything into it and people will dig it kind of thing. And I just don't like that. This is drinkable. This whole can is drinkable. I could crush this whole can. That's a testament to this beer more than anything else. How the hell is there a fruit fly floating around in this room? It is December. How are... Well, Bug's not dead now. I do not know. Mm. Yeah, that's tasty. You know, raspberry started the show here. Not overly tart or anything. Comes off very much like a pastry raspberry. Kind of like a, you know, whipped cream, kind of top of the trifle, kind of raspberry combination. Like, almost like short cakey. Um... That apple cinnamon thing definitely comes off as a slight baked apple pie kind of vibe. I said I'm not a big fan of that as a dessert. I love the flavors here, so what do I know? And um, it has enough sweetness, and what I think is enough... I don't think there's like an inherent salinity to it, but I think there is a, a water 
chemistry thing here that kind of helps balance out the sweetness in this. Um, normally hops would be doing that, but I think there is this just kind of this cool kind of combination of probably a combination of hops and, and water treatment that just makes this beer chuggable, drinkable, tasty. I think it's fantastic. One of the better pastry sours that I've had as of late, to be honest with you. And I don't drink a ton of them, so it kind of defaults towards the top of that list. But in general, if I eke back, you know, not months, but even a couple of years, I think this is about one of the better ones I've had. There you go. That's all you get. That's all you get from me. Um, except for this. What's your dilio? With uh, with the heavy reel, have you had their beers? Have you had this beer? Had been in the brewery? If not, get down there, especially if you're local <clears throat> or localish. You know, tri-state area stuff like that. Uh, definitely a fun spot, especially during the summertime. You know, Seaside is my old stomping ground. Grew up in Tom's River. Even though I haven't been down there due to the pandemic, can't wait to bring my kid down there and definitely gonna stop off there. It's a cool brewery. Jeff's a cool dude, and they make fun beers. So there you go. Let me know your experiences with them and this beer in particular. Put it all down there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.